Okay, now we're going to put on the, the drivers, the stepping motor drivers. And we'll use four screws for each one. So four times four is 16. We're, we're, using, um, we're actually using four drivers, X, Y, Z, and the A. The A is going to be used for the um, rotation of the uh, SMD part. So let's go ahead and just use, uh, go ahead and fasten this down. We'll use number eight screws um, at three quarters of an inch in length. Make sure that's correct. Yes, three quarters of an inch in length. And you could actually pre-screw two of them in first and then slide the, the driver on. And then get the next two. Start this. Make sure that the terminals are facing out this way. Like the others, like the other ones, don't over tighten. Just make sure they're snug. And these will be really, really solid after these are in. Drivers are down and secure. We'll configure those later. Now we're going to put on the power supply. To fasten the uh, power supply, we'll use M4 screws, four of them, and four washers. And we'll have to screw these from the, from the underside, so we're going to try to get one started first. screwdriver down there first because it will be easier to just start turning when I find the hole. Now it's going to be easier to put in the rest of the screws, but I'm not going to flip this over because I already have the motherboard on. We're going to put the, um, we're going to install the fan onto the substrate now and you want to make sure that the, the uh, terminals or the leads are on this side facing the, the motherboard and you have also um, grounding area that needs to be on this side as well. This will just give you the shortest length to put the wire to the uh, power supply. You also want to have, um, there's going to be an indication of airflow in what direction and this is showing the up direction. You want to make sure that it's going up and into this area, into this case. So we're going to use four number six screws at one inch in length. We're going to use four number six screws, one inches in length. Start them into the, into the four holes of the fan. And we're going to be using a screwdriver like this to get into the holes to, use, to be able to get at these screws. But um, you can use um, an L-shaped screwdriver if you want, or you can uh, drive them in from the other side using uh, using a, a, a wrench or something to tighten the nut onto the other side of the screw. Taking a, um, a washer and a nut and you're putting the washer on first underneath and then the nut on afterwards. So it's, I'm going to tilt this up so it's easier to see what I'm doing. Washer and then the net. And later on, you're going to put a filter on this location and then a plastic piece over that. 
And you'll notice also that these, these screws are sticking out just slightly, so you'll want to um, be very careful on the table surfaces that you're using when you're maneuvering this piece around on your table or provide protection on the table. We have all of the electronic sets um, on the substrate that is mountable. Um, and we can go uh, to the next step of connecting all the components together. Okay, now we're going to wire up the, um, the stepping motor drivers to the breakout door. You'll notice that the stepping motor drivers have CP+, plus, C-, minus plus, CW+, plus, CW-, minus, REST+, plus, and REST-. minus. The REST we're not using. We're going to be using the CW, this is direction, and then the CP is step. The C minus, CP minus, and the CW minus will be um, going to the, the step and direction respectively. So we're going to go ahead and first uh, hook up the step, which is CP minus going to step, and I'm going to use a green wire for that. I generally use green for step, yellow for direction, and then the red for COM, which is the COM is going to go to the CW plus and the CP plus. I'm going to um, use a wire stripper. I'm going to strip off about a quarter of an inch and insert it into the CP minus. And since this is the, this is the X um, stepping motor driver, we're going to go to the X position, which is this one on the on the the breakout board. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off a particular length of it. I want it. Pretty, much, pretty tight, but not too tight. I, I need it to uh, twist around the other wires anyway, so I'm going to go about um, an inch farther. And I'll just snip it off there. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the rest of the wires. I'm going to go yellow to CW minus. And if you've, if you've taken too much insulation off, you can always just fold it in half. So I'm putting the yellow into the CW minus. Make sure that it's pretty, pretty snug. I'm going to cut it off at about the same. And now the red. And the red is going to go to to the CW plus and CP plus, so I'm going to take off a small portion of it and loop it. Another way to do this is to twist it while the insulation is still on. And I'm just going to take this, twist it together. Start with the C CW plus, I'll start with that. And then I'm going to insert this into the CW plus. These are the two positive terminals for the step and direction. And then cut this off at the same length. Okay, now we're going to take these wires and we're going to actually turn them, we're going to twist them. Just similar to the way twisted, uh, twisted pair is in telephone cable, it enhances communication. Um, and it also makes it a lot neater. So we're going to use we're going to actually use a drill to do this. And you're going to twist it to a point where it's pretty tight, and then it's going to stay that way. And it's going to be actually kind of hard to unravel it. So this is how it's going to look. Make sure it's still fits to the uh, to the terminals. This is why you, you made them a little longer in, in the in the cutting of it. So we're just gonna let some of it out and we're gonna strip off the ends. Okay. Now we're gonna take the red and we're gonna wire this to the com. Com is located right here. And then the green goes to step. Step is located at this location, at this terminal, and then the DIR or direction is this terminal. So you have this wire to the first driver, and you have a, a very neat appearance to it, and we're ready to go to the next driver. So I'm going to start with the red. 
two inches. We're going to measure the length that we need, and it's going to, this is Y, and this will be the Y. It is also labeled B. A is X, B is Y, C is Z, and D will be A, the A axis. Let's cut it to that length. Now we're going to go over the yellow wire, which is going to DIR. And that's C, W minus. Cut it the same length. And then the green to the step. Okay, so now we're going to strip the ends of these wires. Alright, so the second one is step, so I'm going to put the step in first. Com, first one, and then direction. This one is just long enough. When you twist the wires, it shortens the whole length quite a bit. Now those wires are done. And now we're going to go with the Z. We'll start with the red. And it's better to strip it before you cut it off, because it's hard to strip the shorter wires. Yellow is direction that goes on the third one. Now the last driver, which is the A driver. So now we've completed uh, the communication between the signal communication between the, the four drivers and the breakout board. Now we're going to wire up the power supply to the fan. <laughs> 